I'm Giuliano Hazan, and I'm going to show you how to trim an artichoke to get rid of all the tough part that leave all the tender part behind. What we're going to do is we're going to snap the leaves back like this. I'm not removing the whole leaf. I'm actually leaving the bottom part of the leaf attached to the artichoke. It's a little bit like recreating what you do when you eat an artichoke leaf by leaf and you're scraping the bottom of the leaf with your teeth. Well, that's the tender part. and You want to leave that attached to the artichoke and not take it away. So you just snap decisively like this and pull down like this. Keep your thumb on the outside, snap and pull down. And you just keep on going like this until you see that the white tender part comes up about halfway up the arch. Okay, now you see that this lighter part is coming about halfway up the artichoke. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top. I'm going to take my knife, cut off that top half of the artichoke like this, and I'm going to also cut off the stem. But I'm not going to throw the stem away because you see the center part of the stem, that white part right in the center, is delicious. It's just like the heart of the artichoke. What we do need to do is to cut away all that dark green part that's on the outside. So don't be afraid to cut off an, all of the green part because that's good. And now this is the best part. I'm going to put it in some water that has some lemon juice in it. And in fact the lemon juice prevents the artichoke from turning dark. So whenever you've cut it, you want to rub a little bit of it. You can rub a little bit of it on your fingers too. The next thing we're going to do is to trim the dark green part on the outside of the artichoke. And I use this rounded knife to do it. It's a little paring knife. It's called a bird's beak knife. And it works very well for this. But you can also use just a regular little paring knife to do it. I'm not removing all of the tender part that I just carefully saved by snapping the leaves back. But that dark outer part is tough. So I do want to remove that, because in the end, we want the artichoke to be completely tender, so you can eat the whole thing. You just keep on going around, and go back a little bit, and trim any of the green parts that you see like this, until all you see is just the lighter, tender part of the artichoke that's underneath. Go all the way around the top as well. And then the last thing that we need to do is just to remove the choke inside. And to do that, we're going to use a dinner knife with a rounded tip. And we put the dinner knife right like that, right around that purple choke. And once we've gone all the way around, you see that you can easily just pry it out like this, and the whole thing comes out. Now there'll still be some uh, fuzz inside, and that's what we use the rounded tip of the knife to scrape that away so that you get a nice, clean, choke inside. And there it is. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon inside and then what you have now is an artichoke that's going to be completely tender and edible the way it is. All the tough parts have been thrown away. You can cut it or use it whole and then put it into the lemon water. And there you go.